Hey folks, it's Jeremy Hamilton with 5280 Angler with the Fishing Report. It's uh, early June and things are starting to shape up everywhere. Uh, uh, Deckers has been fishing really pretty great. Um, we've been, been using worms, brown, tan, red, uh, you name it, uh, it's been it's been working quite well. Uh, then uh, then caddis are are on the menu. Been doing uh, caddis larva with it with a, a buckskin caddis candy uh, bars net builder caddis. Any of those have been working quite well. And then and then caddis pupa uh, um, graphic caddis uh, kryptonite caddis. One's cat, uh, kryptonite caddis has been working well for me. Um, those those have all been working well as far as caddis go. Then also RS2s, pheasant tails, uh, you name it, all that stuff has been working pretty well. Uh, Stoneflies have have also been picking up some some fish on the on the uh, subsurface. As far as dry flies go, uh, in the afternoons on warm days, caddis will will work. Uh, just a, a an elk hair caddis works. Uh, Puderbaugh foam caddis, the black or, or tan, either one. Uh, those those have been picking up a lot of fish. Haven't really been seeing many blue winged olives. Uh, no stone flies yet flying around. Any day now we should start seeing the green drake uh, hatch. Uh, it, I've been seeing a lot of nymphs in the water. They're getting pretty big, getting ready to go. So that's a short-lived event. So if it happens, hopefully you can be, be out when it does. But if not... Well, try next year. <laughs> so, uh, as far as Dreamstream goes, it's it's not been very good. Uh, the the flows are are down right now. They're at 57. Pelicans have really uh, decimated the fishery there uh, early season. So, I would stay away from there until the water comes up. Uh, give those fish a break. They're already taking a pretty hard hit. Uh, word is. Pelicans are starting to leave, and, and some of the fish are starting to fill in, but uh, it's still pretty pretty grim out there. So I'd I'd stay away from that at least for now until until runoff hits. We've still had a lot of cool nights, and and uh, runoff hasn't even started up high. Um, I've also been fishing. I fished our private property, Bartle Lakes, and that's fantastic. It's a great place to go if you want if you want to catch a lot of fish on dry flies, brook trout primarily and uh, in a, the most beautiful setting you'll probably ever see. Uh, fish Terriol, um, Terriol Creek below the dam. It's fishing fantastic on dry droppers if you head out there. Um, I was using a, a hippie stomper, which is a new fly to me, then uh, dropping that with the red worm and a copper john, either red or chartreuse. That's been, that was working quite well for me. Uh, boxwood, long meadow, as always, they're fishing fantastic. Been getting a lot of big fish in the net, and, uh, and, and what, what more can I say? It's just wonderful out there. So, uh, that's a report for now. Any, any, uh, if you want to come out fishing with us, I recommend any of the private properties or deckers, and uh, and we'll see you out there. As always, follow us on Instagram, 5280angler. Uh, our website, 5280angler.com. Um, Facebook, or you can follow me on my Instagram, Jeremy Hamilton Fly Fishing. See you on the river.